watch out guys eh smoke them out Woo! hey bruh what's going on anyway What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! How you doing? Oh, it is fantastic to be back here once again to bring you, that's you, something exciting. Always remember to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Let's keep this channel rolling because I always like to bring the positivity and the exciting things to you. Now... We understand. I got to bring this up. There's scammers and trolls all over the internet, guys. And a lot of these guys are just jealous haters, okay? And they're doing things to try to influence themselves to make them look better. I'm just going to touch on this real quick. We don't care what they do. If you see someone doing something that is negative in that light, or talking about me and my channel, or trying to promote my channel in a light of selling product, or saying anything, please report that immediately. YouTube is cracking down hard on this, and I personally have some things in the background that I have to take care of too with some of these trolls. So I just want to remind you out there that these guys are the, are the ones that are trying to destroy things because they're jealous and they they can't make it on i don't know whatever their problem is my daddy didn't give them enough money mommy didn't hold them cl close enough or they're just you know the fact of the matter is is that they really are worthless that's uh, they they live a life of their own lives that's probably the biggest thing is is they pretend that they're um some type of maintenance man or or uh you know repair tech and they you know just don't they're, they're nothing. They, they're, they're forgotten people. So without ado, let's get rid of the negativity. Let's talk about the new thing we got today. That's it, my friends. The Ansel. Look at this thing. The S3000. The tiny little guy. Now, I want to show you. I don't have any EVAP issues. So I'm going to go ahead right off a limb and tell you that I don't have anything to work on with this right now. I could do a fake test, but that doesn't seem to be very... Nozzle. But I will show you how much this thing smokes and how quiet this is. So let's get this thing hooked up. Uh, well, well, actually, let's talk about a few of the features with it. This is everything right here. This is the whole shebang. I like this. I actually was looking, and now before some of you talk about Redline being the best and you made in America, they're all, they absolutely are. There's no doubt about it. I'm not denying that. But I can't. I'm not going to spend a thousand, eighteen hundred dollars on Redline. Uh, a lot of guys that get red lines, get them, give them to them. I'm not that lucky. So, Ansel, I have done things with in the past, reached out to me and asked me if I wanted, to, uh, if I was interested in this. And I said, absolutely. Uh, Ansel makes some decent products, okay? And 90% of the stuff made by Ansel is probably made by other people. Uh, this is made in China, I'm sure. Uh, but unfortunately, it is also affordable at uh, under $200. Which is a big thing. Now, this is a 3,000. They have ones that are smaller. You have your gauge for your mercury gauge so you can set your leak size or uh, set how much you put out. And we have your pressure gauge right here, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, my old tool had a was an OTC Stinger style. It was actually a knockoff version of it. And it worked great except for the hoses were getting hot. I wanted something, and you had to hook the air up to it. But uh, So over here we have a sight glass for our baby oil. One thing I want to make you understand right now is that this min max is 100%. So if you see your baby oil go above this min, this max right here, you have overfilled it. So, you know, you can kind of tip it back a little bit and see that. But, uh, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you watch out for that. Do not overfill these because they will shoot baby oil out everywhere. Ask me how I know. I did not realize that on this new one, and I started it off, and that's the first thing I did. It'll probably shoot a little bit out during the video, so that's a huge disclaimer right there because I haven't used this type of machine. The OTC Stinger, if you guys know, you fill it from the top, and you can basically just fill it up. So, uh, new, newbie, newbie problem, but it has an on-off start button. We'll show you that when it comes up. Very nice rugged housing. The fact of the matter is the compactness. I mean, this is literally... Uh, Smaller my hand here, just to give you a reference. 
Uh, in fact, and here's the baby oil bottle. Uh, you can see it's about the size of a baby oil bottle. In width and height, not, uh, well, not the full width there, but this side, the width is about the size of a, what is this? 20 ounce bottle, 20 ounce baby oil bottle. So let's get this thing hooked up, fired up, let you guys take a look at it. All right, so let's get into this bad boy right here because this is a pretty cool machine. So I've been testing this for a little bit. So this has a 16 foot rubber hose, I believe, is that right? 16 foot, somewhere around there. And then your leads here, are pretty decent. Also needed to add in here the kit that comes with this. Uh, it comes with your cone, which is really nice. These are nice to have. That's another thing about this Ansel 3000 tool. So you have your intake inflator, and then it hooks up to this hose, and then you can blow through there to blow your smoke, and it deflates. It's pretty nice. This doubles as, uh, you know, some other things too. Uh, and then you have this one for your sensor cover. They can go over some bigger stuff, and then you can hook in there, blow smoke in there. But uh, it also comes with a funnel, so that way you can fill up the top of that. So the accessory pack for this is definitely, those things are like, these things from Redline alone are like 200 bucks. Uh, and they're pretty nice. This one seems pretty nice, pretty durable. But that's your intake close-off tube for your uh, HVAC or for your leak detection. The cone is also nice because you can put that in your. A lot of times goes in your gas tank or whatnot. So very nice, very cool. Definitely want to check those out with that. But uh, let's hook this up. This thing fires up pretty quick and it throws off a good amount of smoke. Those are the two things, and it's this is super quiet for being an internally compressed. So let's hook this up to my uh, simulated setup here and uh, give it a whirl. Now I'll be able to talk to you and you can see it's already puffing smoke and uh, we have this. We'll turn up our mercury, turn it down. Let me see here. We can turn down our smoke volume with our knob. You see that it gets more intense. We can also use our buttons down here to shut our smoke off. It'll start going away here, and it'll just give us air here in a second. Okay, so that shuts the machines off, the machine off. And let's turn it back on. There's there's the on-off button for the machine over here, which is nice. Now we can turn this back on, get our heat going, get everything rolling, and you can see. Now watch our gauge. Now you can see our gauge go up and we're getting in 16 PSI and obviously we have no leak because we're building pressure. That tells us our leak right there. So pretty, pretty sweet. Definitely puts out a lot of smoke. I wanted you guys to see that. Uh, I think this is a great machine. Now this does have an over, over, or override shut off for, look at the smoke on there. If anybody remember Blueberry uh, by Ludacris? This is what I feel like when I'm seeing this. Doo, 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 doo. But uh, give her the full full beans of the smoke right there. Holy, watch out, guys. Eh, smoke them out. Woo! Hey, bro, what's going on? Anyways, uh, let's shut this guy off here. So, anyways, the overall view of this, we're going to check it out. But, so like I was saying, this does have an automatic shut off. So that it does not get too hot. Uh, the fittings are cool here. It'll run for a couple minutes under the leak uh, or on, while it's blowing smoke. And I think once the internal gets warmed up, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and then you can see here I've actually got this filled up properly now. And if people ask me how many ounces does it take at a time, now that'll be the next thing is, is I don't know how long this will last, so I have to check that out. Obviously, this is a new machine, so we got to test it out, see what we like, what we don't like. Uh, but it takes a couple ounces just to run it uh, to get it going, but I love the compact size You heard how loud it was. Let me run that one more time. Actually. Let me put the mic right up to it so you guys can hear Full bore There's the mic right there And you guys can hear how loud that is now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna hold it just off camera and that's how loud it is while I'm talking Super super quiet all the way up that's right into the right into it so you guys can hear look at the smoke it's bellowing out this is a great machine for the money and i think there's a deal right now where you get a free case now i didn't get a free case with mine but you can get a free case and i will put a link in the description for that 
Uh, that was my battery jump pack that shut off there, not the machine. But I will put a link in the description for that. I think the Ansel 3000 is definitely the way to go for a ton of you that are looking for a leak detector. Uh, the winter time becomes very, very hostile in the north for leak detection. Stuff gets hot, stuff gets our stuff gets cold, brittle, breaks, and then we have a ton of VVAP issues. Uh, it is one of my bigger uh, things that I make money on, and I, this is a small investment for it. I like the little strap that hangs up everything. Very compact and neat. Uh, I can hang this off my toolbox, hang it in my side locker. Well, I don't have one yet, but I will be getting one. But, uh, yeah, just a nice little ordeal there. So let me know what you think down in that comment box. And uh, maybe we can get Ansel to give one of you guys one of these, too, because that would be an awesome giveaway, too, in my opinion. So there's my, and I've had a bunch of you ask about leak detection. I think this is a definitely affordable, good way. And most of the motors are made in China anyway. So some of you guys have complained about that. Uh, the red line is definitely the best. There's no doubt about it. Uh, they are made in America. Uh, but at the, at the retrospect, the problem is uh, a good one starts at like $800 and up from there. And uh, by the time this one goes bad, I can buy two more of them for that. Unfortunately, uh, it's just something I can't afford and I they do put out and the, and the sad part is I will say this about the red line smoke The one that I was looking at doesn't put out more smoke than this That's the biggest problem I had the output of smoke is definitely where it's at and this one does a good amount of smoke So anyways guys like comment share subscribe ring that bell remember keep your hands dirty any money clean. Thanks for watching